Hey everybody, Elizabeth here with Healthy Nuggets, where we get healthy one nugget at a time. Thank you guys so much for tuning back into my YouTube channel. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm super excited because even though I have these series going on on my YouTube channel, I wanted to do a really special video for you guys. I want to go ahead and address the elephant in the room. What is the elephant in the room, Elizabeth? Well, if you guys watch the video, the cooking show where a vegan chef and a non-vegan chef go head to head on I Am Zoe's YouTube channel. Shout out to Zoe for again letting me come on his amazing show and I actually won. If you haven't checked out that video, I will definitely drop the link for you to go and check that out later. But I want to address some of the comments that were brought under Zoe's video. Now, thank you guys so much for all the love, all your kind words, all the support that I have received from being on I Am Zoe's um, YouTube uh, video and cooking show. But there was like maybe like three or five comments that were, I don't know if I should say negative, but just maybe ignorant or just a lack of understanding or education. So basically, all of these comments kind of talked about the fact that, or brought up concern, that's what we're gonna call it, concern for the fact that I am not skinny. So a lot of people were like, oh, like how is she gonna have um, a healthy business? Or how is her company called Healthy Nuggets? Or how is she promoting um, a healthy dish on this cooking show when she's not even 120 pounds or she's not skinny? And I even talked to one of my dearest friends about this and even just in the conversation that I had with her and just expressing, you know, my um, life, my opinion, the education surrounding this topic, that your size does not determine your health. That is the title of this video. Your size does not determine your health. And I really want to address this topic and even just addressing it with one of my best friends, she was even like, wow, like I needed to hear this. This helped me. This brought awareness and education to me. So if one of my closest friends even needed to just kind of change how they were thinking about this type of stuff, definitely I believe that this is something that we can all learn from. This is something that I even had to go through my own process on. I had to change my own mindset, my own heart, and God really did a work in me concerning this topic. Hey everyone, so shout out to our amazing sponsor for this YouTube video, Elixir Candle Company, which is located right here in Atlanta, Georgia. This is a female-owned, black-owned company. She makes these candles by hand in gorgeous glass containers. They are all natural candles. She has different amazing scents. And if you are looking to give somebody a candle for the holidays, a birthday, or if you just want a candle for yourself, make sure you hit up Elixir Candle Company so that you can support someone that literally is making candles by hand locally. And hey, they smell so freaking good. Oh my gosh. So make sure you guys check her out and thank you again for sponsoring this video. So I want to make this public. I know this might be a sensitive topic for a lot of people. And you know, if you don't agree, I just pray, my prayer is that this video will encourage someone, that this video will uplift someone, that this video will help you to know that your size does not determine your health, whether you're skinny or whether you're big or in between. Um, so let's get straight into it. So some of the comments that um, I received, and I feel like there's more things over the years that people have probably said, just never been bold enough. I have never had anyone say anything to my face. Um, you know, of course people are gonna make comments on the internet because they feel like there's a wall. Um, I've heard through the grapevine that uh, someone that was around me, I wouldn't necessarily really consider them a friend, but someone around me made a comment um, voicing concern for my size and doing, you know, a healthy business. So. Basically, a lot of times, or the comments that were said were like, oh my gosh, like how can she be promoting a healthy lifestyle when she's not skinny? 
you guys, like your size does not determine your health. Like you can't look at a person and automatically assume that just because someone is skinny, that means they're healthy. Like how? And so what I really want to portray to you guys is number one, let me give this disclaimer. Let me give you a background story. Um, because I know that a lot of times people don't care what you know until they know how much you care. So in my own life, like I've been overweight since I was a child, like for real. Um, I got pictures. <laughs> Maybe I'll put a picture up on the screen. But I've been overweight since I was probably like five or six years old. I was overweight my entire life. Um, and, you know, as I got older, I was really like mad at my parents. You know, I was just like, how could you allow this to happen to me? Um, why didn't you, you know, help me be more active? Why didn't you teach me a healthier lifestyle? But eventually you get to a point as an adult where you have to take responsibility for your own life. So me being an adult, I was like, I'm going to start making changes. I'm going to start changing my life. And especially when I began to deeper my relationship with God, it was something that I wanted to honor God in my body. I wanted to have healthy practices. I wanted to focus on how can I treat my body as a temple? This is the only body I have. So let me take care of it, right? Period. So as I began my journey of trying to like, you know, change the way that I eat and work out and stuff like that, I really wasn't seeing the results that I wanted. And I was, at one point, I was taking a diet pill. Um, and although I did lose weight, that diet pill started to cause some really negative effects on my heart. And I stopped taking the medicine. As soon as I stopped taking the medicine, I gained all the weight back, which shows that that kind of stuff is just a crutch. Like you really have to change your lifestyle and not just depend on like surgery or a pill and things like that. And so God like really spoke to me and was like, I'm not, I'm not focused on you like being a certain size. I'm focused on you being healthy. And that's what the Bible says. No matter what religion you're in, like I'm pretty sure your religion wants you to be healthy. Hello, somebody. <laughs> so God just really dealt with me about like, stop focusing on trying to look a certain way. Stop focusing on trying to be skinny and focus on being healthy. That is the number one thing that I want from you, my daughter. Like be healthy. Even if you don't lose weight like this, 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 just focus on being healthy and everything else will come. So I had to change my own mind that, okay, you know, maybe I'm not a size zero, but I can still be healthy by my day-to-day -day practices. So I am healthy, you guys. Like I've gone to the doctor, I've done tests, you know, and to my knowledge, I don't have any known um, like health scare if you will like I don't I don't have diabetes um last time I checked I don't have diabetes I don't have high blood pressure praise the lord I don't have high cholesterol um I, I don't have any known like big health issues and my day-to-day -day practices are healthy living practices so I exercise several times a week I am a group fitness instructor you guys like I'm a certified group fitness instructor I teach group fitness classes i'm in the gym at least five days out of the week so of course i want to be first partaker so i exercise even outside of my classes um i eat a plant-based mostly gluten-free diet i love to cook i make a lot of my own dishes i use all natural products um and on top of that i'm really big on mental and emotional health so I take time to pray. I take time to say affirmations, to be, to say what I'm thankful for. I take time to check in with myself and make sure I am okay within myself. Um, I have worked really hard to have healthy relationships with people. And I also take care of my finances. I have healthy finances. I take care of my spirituality. I make sure that I am, you know, in that relationship with God. So what i really want to hone in on is we have got to get away from this idea that health is just about a physical a physical thing like number one i have never ever said that i was a weight loss expert that's number one so please stop like trying to put that on me i have never said that i was a weight loss expert i have never said like hey everybody like let me help everybody in the world lose weight because i just know about this from top to bottom no like i haven't i preach if you go on my page if you go to my youtube channel if you go to my instagram my facebook and even if you just know me personally or you've ever encountered me you know that I preach holistic health. 
What is holistic health? Holistic health is when you encompass every aspect of your life and your health to make it all come together to work for your good. So you have mental health, emotional health, relational, financial, spiritual, and physical. So there's all these different components. That is what I preach, is being healthy in all of these different areas of your life, not just being skinny. I don't preach that. I'm not about people being skinny, and I'm also not about people being big or fat. Like, what I also am not out here, I'm not like one of those people that's like super like, uh, promoting um, people just being big, but I'm also not promoting people being skinny. I'm promoting a healthy lifestyle. I'm promoting being one within yourself. I'm promoting take time to exercise, take time to eat healthy, make sure you're healthy in your mind, your heart. So it's not just about being skinny. Like we really, I understand that just like God had to change my point of view, um, we all have to change what society has taught us. And what society has taught us for decades is that if you're skinny, you're automatically healthy. If you're anything beyond skinny, you ain't healthy. Like you need to get it together. You lazy. You just eat McDonald's every day and you just ain't it. That is what we have been taught. And that narrative is changing. And I am here to be a pioneer for that. I know that. I know that a part of what I'm called to do is to be a pioneer in this way and change the narrative, change the way that we think about what it means and what it looks like or what it takes to be healthy. So I personally have had people in my family who are skinny, who have had strokes, who have had heart attacks. So, and also who have high blood pressure, who have had cancer, who have had these different health issues and they were not 300 pounds. They would be considered average or they would be considered probably like a, a decent size. They weren't like super, super skinny, like 90 pounds or anything, but these people were not 300 pounds. These people were average size so they have high blood pressure they've had high cholesterol they have had diabetes they can't run up no flight of stairs <laughs> without beeping like they're gonna die they've literally had strokes so this whole idea that if you're small you're good like you're just free of all health problems is the furthest thing from a lie and let me let me explain like why that's a dangerous mindset for us to continue to have because if you think that and you're taught that then you think well as long as i'm small then i'm healthy and i don't have to work out and i don't have to take care of my mental health and i don't have to eat healthy things lies 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 like you're in denial because guess what Five years from now, three years from now, 10 years from now, you could go to the doctor and realize, oh my God, like I'm on the verge of really have, having to be hospitalized because I have diabetes, because I've eaten sugar every day, or I've eaten McDonald's every day, or I don't allow my heart rate to go up because I don't exercise, or I'm suicidal because I'm freaking messed up in my mind and my emotions. You're not healthy. So we have to get outside, we have to get past this mindset that just, if you're skinny, you're, you're good, you're safe. No, you need to take care of yourself. You need to take time to exercise. You need to eat fruits and vegetables. You need to take time to meditate and pray and do affirmations and make sure you're good from the inside out. There are so many people, unfortunately. It's really sad that we're in a time right now where so many people are depressed. So many people are dealing with anxiety. So many people are dealing with suicide. Like people are literally killing themselves. And guess what? Those people are skinny. Majority of the people that I have seen, I don't even think I've seen no big person kill themselves. Like, I don't know why it's not funny, but like majority of the people as I'm thinking, like all have been skinny or small. So you telling me that somebody is like healthy if they are so sad within themselves that they wanna kill themselves? No, like that's what I'm saying. It's about holistic health. We, I want people to be healthy mentally, emotionally. Like maybe they were small, maybe they didn't have like a really big health problem, but they were not healthy in their mind and in their emotions and in their relationships. I don't know those people. I don't know what their story is like one-on-one. -on -one. 
but we have to also not just focus on a size and focus on how we are doing on the inside out and that's your mental emotional spiritual relational health not just focusing on being small so you could be the smallest person not anorexic but be the smallest person or the fittest person you could be a bodybuilder but you could be really suffering mentally and emotionally you could really be depressed you could really be suicidal and that is not healthy that is not okay. And, and we want everyone to thrive. Or what I've also seen is that people are bodybuilders or are personal trainers. Like I've literally known throughout my life personal trainers who, yes, they have these big muscles. They got some abs. But guess what? As soon as they leave the gym, they just eat McDonald's every day. Like they're not eating healthy. They just work out a lot. You know what I mean? They just have like a ripped body but they're still not healthy. They're still not eating the nutrients and everything that they need. I've known personal trainers that have high, high cholesterol and high blood pressure. So your size does not determine your health. Now, if you, no matter what size you are, hey, go to whatever doctor you wanna go to, whether it's a regular doctor, a holistic doctor, whatever it is, go get your blood tested, check your blood pressure, check your cholesterol, um, all of those things, you know, get your skin checked with your dermatologist. Make sure you don't have any skin cancer going on, God forbid. But really what it's about is taking time daily as much as you can to address each area of your life. Take time to exercise, even if you just go on a walk. Take time to eat healthy. Drink some green juice, get some dark leafy greens in, get some fruits, get some whole plant-based foods in your diet. Make sure that you take time to focus on your mental and emotional health so that you can feel joy, so that you can feel happiness, so that you can feel peace, so that you can enjoy your life and get out and see all the beautiful things. Take, take time to say what you're thankful for. Say affirmations. Say that today is a great day. I am beautiful. I'm confident. I'm strong. I'm healthy. I'm strong. I'm fit. Make sure you have good relationships in your life. Relationships can really determine a lot about your health and how well you're doing inside of yourself. Make sure you have good people around you and be a good person to be around. Make sure you take time for God, your spirituality. Make sure you take time to put financial things in place so that you're not struggling. Let me tell y'all something, when, you're, when we are not financially well, it throws everything off. I've been there. I've gone through financial struggles, believe it or not. And so you got to make sure that you got some things in place to be healthy in all of those aspects of your life. It's all about holistic health, not just one thing. So if you feel like you're too skinny, see what you can do to gain some more weight in a healthy way and make sure you take care of all the other areas of your life. If you want to lose weight or change your body because you feel like you're too big or anything like that, that's fine too. That is fine. Just make sure that you have healthy lifestyle, holistic practices. That is what it's about. So thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I really hope that this has spoken to someone. I, I am not trying to offend anyone. Please know my heart. Like I'm not trying to offend anyone, even in addressing things with suicide. I, I don't know everything. I'm not trying to offend anyone or make um, a joke about anything. This is serious. Your health, my health, our health is serious. So please share this video. This video needs to be heard. Make this video go viral. This is a message that needs to be put out there into the entire world internationally because we all want to thrive and be healthy together. So we trying to get healthy one nugget at a time. Like this video, comment below. Tell me how this video might have impacted you. Did you learn anything? Did it challenge the way that you even thought? Did it challenge yourself to think about your body and yourself in a different way so i love you guys thank you guys so much and if you haven't subscribed to my channel because i do post new videos every monday i'm elizabeth with healthy nuggets where we get healthy one nugget at a time bye